Bob Gears with Digital Doc. I want to talk about how Digital Doc keeps families connected. A typical family has 22 devices. You wonder how they can have 22 devices. Well, the teenager typically has an iPhone that was passed down from a father or a mother. Uh, the parents both have the latest and greatest iPhones. They have an iPhone, the 6S, and the mother has a 6S Plus. The kids have Samsung Galaxy phones, and the toddler, when the soccer mom is in the van and they're going to an event or something like that, how do you keep the toddler in that infancy occupied? You give them an iPad. All those devices can break. We've had a family come in, uh, they said the toddler broke the phone. Or the, it was actually a baby. Well, how could the baby break the phone? Well, the baby had the phone in the car seat, was playing with it, and fell on the floor, didn't break. But when the mother put the door, automatic door button to open the door, the iPad falls on the concrete, cracks the screen, brings it to digital dock, we repair that, keeps that family connected, it keeps the toddler occupied. Uh, they also have a family laptop. Uh, grandpa has a PC. Many times the PC isn't working. We help out uh, grandparents in keeping them connected with software problems, with virus removals, that sort of stuff. Uh, grandpa also uses the GPS. Well, guess what? Screens break on GPSs, and they're quite economical to repair a broken screen on a GPS. And then Aunt Laura is the photographer. She has a beautiful camera. We repair broken cameras and that sort of stuff. Uh, Dad has the big screen TV, and the screens keep getting bigger, higher resolution. But what often happens is uh, the TVs compete on screen size and resolution, but they're kind of skimpy on the power supply. One morning, you turn the TV on and the remote with the remote control, and it doesn't turn on. Well, what's happened? It isn't the remote control, it's the TV. $1,500, $2,000 TV, what do you need to throw it away? You call the TV repair guy? Well, he's been long closed. You take it to digital dock. Typically, there's a power supply or a control module that is bad. That becomes $150, $200 repair. Very economical. Don't throw those TVs away. Take them to digital dock. This family mom teaches at Xavier High School. Well, Xavier High School issues all students iPads. And when those iPads break, they come to digital dock for repair. Aunt Mary happens to teach at Center Point Urbana. Center Point Urbana uses MacBooks, MacBook Airs. Digital Dock repairs those MacBook Airs. Uncle Bill teaches at Urbandale. Urbandale uses Chromebooks. We repair Chromebooks. Who ever heard of Chromebooks a few years ago? But they're being used a lot in schools. So all this was, they're all individual true events. They weren't actually all one family, but it's an example of how Digital Dock keeps families connected. Thank you.